Hi, this is Yoshi. Uh, just another uh, repotting on CDM type. This is uh, uh, this is I guess newer uh, chocolate orchid type on CDM hybrid called the on CDM AKA baby Aka baby. I think it's AKA baby uh, raspberry chocolate HCCAOS. Um, seems like this one has been popular. Um, I mean, still Sherry Baby and uh, Heaven Scents are more popular, but this one is kind of getting popular and I've seen it available here and there. Um, I like the bloom though. It's uh, um, The pattern is not like Sherry Baby or Heaven Scent. And uh, yeah, it's different. So if you like a chocolate fragrance and want to have something different from Sherry Baby and Heaven Scent type of uh, bloom, then uh, this might be it. It's got a vivid white lips and I really like it. I'll put the picture somewhere if I can find it on my uh, uh, album, photo album. Um, anyways, yeah, um, this has been pretty vigorous um, and huge. Now, there might be a two plants in it I'm not sure but let's see what's in it a four inch pot when I got it oh, oof, look at that I already uh, uh, watered it so it would uh, kind of loosen up a little bit but anyways uh, sometimes when you get it like this it might be a two plants it's not it's it's it happens more often than not so I wouldn't be surprised if I uh, clean it and find out that there are two plants um, the reason why I'm repotting this is number one it's way too big and top heavy uh, number two it's not fitting in a four inch pot I think it's pretty obvious from looking at it but uh, <clears throat> number three here's the new growth and these hybrids always growing always growing uh, I don't really think there must be some sort of a, a season that you should repot obviously growing season is better but I think you can uh, repot it anytime you want or anytime it needs I should say uh, I always repot it when it needs repotting I don't really I let it grow um, number one I'm lazy number two um, most of the orchids likes it um, in a tighter pot root bound or pot bound or whatever you call it um, because it usually likes to hang on a tree, right? So, the same thing, it wants to hang on to something, so therefore you want the smaller pots possible. But these guys create, produce, I should say, a lot of roots, uh, Sherry Baby, Heaven Scents, uh, those types, so vigorous and always produce roots all the time, so not to worry about it. Now, kind of massaging it out and see if it's gonna loosen up. Uh, I might have to just keep it as one plant since it's not budging, it's like really solid inside. I don't really want to break apart, you know, if I don't have to. But then I don't, I don't, see, look at that, I just uh, peeled. And then here's a new growth too, here. So, I mean, I don't I don't need to divide new, see? There's a, also new roots too. So I don't really, like I said, I don't really need to like divide and uh, keep it small. I mean, I guess I should actually to uh, 
same place, but I definitely don't want to keep it if I divide it. I just divided a Miltonia sunset and it went to a good home. But, uh, wow, it's really not budging. It's really tight. Now, let me clean this up and I will be right back. Okay, well, look at it. That's the only, pretty much only media was in this four inch pot. I mean, <laughs> this is way too big. I'm thinking about dividing it. I don't know where I should uh, divide at this point, but I also don't have to divide. Uh, it depends. I don't see any loose point. It's pretty tight. I kind of take a look at it earlier. But anyways, uh, I'm going to... Uh, I couldn't go inside the, the roots too hard. And you know what? You just leave it. It's going to be okay. Um, it's more important to... Uh, keep the surroundings uh, fresh. Uh, yeah, of mm -hmm. course, inside is important too, but eventually mm -hmm. it will disappear. Even though I have to tell you that there was a piece of a plug mm -hmm. material was in it. So I can imagine there's a plug in it, but I cannot re reach mm -hmm. to it and I don't want to really hurt the plant itself. So this mm -hmm. is pretty much as far as I go. Uh, let me grab a hyper hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> a lot of the times you get it from Hawaiian. Well, I shouldn't say from Hawaiian. But like, you know, you get it. You just do hydrogen peroxide each time you repot. Because you never know what kind of a creature is going inside, right? So, it's just for precaution. I mean, how much is hydrogen peroxide? It's pretty cheap, right? Mm -hmm. Even uh, people are using a lot nowadays for, uh, you know, whatever the reason it is nowadays. It's still cheap, so, you know, you don't want to be cheap, right? And last thing you want is like bush snails and just destroy the roots or something, so. Yeah, so uh, I'll clean this dish up and uh, I'll be right back. All right, now I have a few choices. One is this square pot. I like square pots. It's it saves so much space. But yeah, that's this is one pot up, I should say. It's just the right size. I don't want that though. I think it's gonna be in this. And uh, I'm gonna use a uh, mix up a small bark and a medium bark. That way it's even though bigger, but it will double the size. Those are so big grass, it's gonna uh, double the size super easily, super quickly. So I'm gonna go with this. But I'm gonna mix in medium and small bark so it would give uh, good aeration, if you know what I mean. Now, I wanna make a air hole with the uh, uh, soldering iron. So I'll make the hole and I'll be right back. Okay, I made a hole. Uh, by the way, uh, you know me with the yogurt container. Uh, these ones actually are, uh, again, one of those reuse, what I call it. Um, go to a local uh, garden center, local, uh, you know, nursery. Uh, they usually throw them whole bunch in a recycle jar or recycle bin, you know, outside of a premises sometimes. And uh, um, most of places, uh, they just call it uh, free to grab. And uh, sometimes you get lots of those, you know, like then why should I spend money for this, right? So, anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, simply, uh, it seems like this is one plant, I examined it, but I think it's a one plant. So, I'm gonna simply just uh, backfill, little by little. 
And so this is what it looks like. Medium bark, um, small bark, charcoal. Uh, it doesn't have to be a horticulture one, but mine is. Uh, just because I am, I don't have time to crush the um, barbecue natural charcoal. Uh, I do have charcoal though for barbecue, the big chunk. Uh, for like if I want the big one, you know what I mean? Because each charcoal is like, where is the charcoal? Like this big, not that big, right? So like if I wanna big charcoal for like cat layers or something, I do have a natural bark and I'm gonna crush them into size. And yeah, so just in case I need it, I do have those and uh, okay so my assistant and her uh, minions are back so I was hoping I would finish this video before they're coming back but uh, there they are <laughs> hello um, What's this? I am basically back feeling at this point and uh, I go I start lower and then kind of pull them up so the media goes down I don't know if you can tell from there, but uh, that way I can uh, make sure that there's less air. So like I can put the uh, bark on the bottom, but then uh, the bark would uh, fill in the gap. So that's basically what I'm trying to do. Hopefully I have enough. Yep. Okay. And what uh that's it super easy um and i put the name tag back id tag whatever you call it back and that's it um we'll go back in the greenhouse thank you for watching bye